Hi, so in today's video, we will be covering uh, how to build a streamlit application using the Firebase. So Firebase is from a NoSQL database from Google. It's a cloud database. It's easy to get started with this. And we will also be making use of Streamlit Cloud to host our application, which we would be using for this. So uh, I saw some comments, people asking me about Streamlit Cloud. So I, this would be covering that. So all we need is a GitHub repo. So relative to my name, pick the GitHub repo and just go here and basically from an existing repo and so your GitHub username, the repo name and the only thing we need to make sure is that there has to be, there has to be, uh, let me go there again. Yeah, so there has to be, There has to be your uh, the file should be in the git and the top file which is mostly used is uh, yeah, the top file which we are using is streamlit app.py and that should be here and uh, for a multi-page streamlit app we can have any number of applications under uh, pages and that will show up here. So let's start the deployment of uh, the Streamlit app. So today we would be covering how to populate database from the front end of Streamlit into Firebase and how to retrieve it back as JSON and how do we process the JSON and build a front end app with it. We'll be covering it later in the series. This app is currently under deployment and I also have a couple of uh, links to validate my use case here. And if we go to manage.py here, we should get uh, the deployment details here. So that won't be redirected to the terminal. You have to watch your manage.py and Streamlit Cloud is absolutely free. And what part of Streamlit Cloud is free here? Streamlit Cloud Features. So if we look at Streamlit Cloud, uh, the I think up to one GB RAM uh, for any application is free, and you could host any number of applications. I'm just trying to see that data here. So yeah, it's already hosted. And the other cool features of uh, Streamlit is you have inbuilt analytics here. So you can see who all visited your page and other data, uh, other analytics are available to you. And our app is now up and running. So let's push this manage.py. So we have any data we have here, I just wrote an admin page to display it. If not, what we populate will be shown here. So. This is basically some roles I've pre-populated and all I need is just a URL link. I just copied the URL link and the job says remote in this post. So I'm picking it as virtual work. So it's remote and company name is KLA. It's in United States. It's in California. I just pasted this and if you do a submit form, yep, the posting is in. And if we go check our Firebase, that entry should be popping up here, which was not there. So the data I entered is now here. And just to test it, I'll also take another example here. So it's in target. Uh, it's from human resource again. So let's say target and it's remote, it's in United States, it's in California. So the only thing we need to change is the URL. And submit the form. So the form got submitted. And if we go through here and check this, so our data is in here. So target is here, KLA is here. And I think if we want to see usage, you can actually see here the purple line is basically when our free tire ends and 
the billing and quota data is here so i think for unless your app becomes pretty popular this is pretty much good enough for your use case and they have daily quota here so we are uh, so we can use up to 50000 reads and 50000 small operations 300 fire store api calls so i think unless for your test application this should be pretty good enough and once we have that and once you do that all you have to do here is uh, so um, how to set up firebase i'll be covering up in my next series so i uh, today we'll just be covering the populating data into here and retrieving data from here so the data whatever Uh, we populated can be retrieved as JSON, and if we open the code here, uh, okay. So if we open the code here, so uh, in yeah. So if I go into Firestore project information project settings, so you can download uh you can download your serv from your service account. so you can download uh, a generate private key which is a json file that's basically what i've done here and that's what i'm sourcing it uh, as key as json and the project is our project name and these are the fields i'm populating and this is the uh, this is my uh, collection name which i'm populating in firebase and these are the forms where we are accepting data from the user and once that's done we are uh, submitting it and if the submit is successful then just posting a message here and that's basically all this is doing but similarly for page icon you can look up couple of page icons there's plenty of icons i picked a balloon you can pick anything you want so and similarly for admin we have the similar database connection first so since we wanted this database to be persistent so i just have a singleton connection but if you want uh if you do want this you want to access data every time you can go ahead and do that too that's another option and whatever i got here i'm just uh traversing through that return uh to that return object and just printing st.json is a function to print the return value on your terminal so that's basically all this is doing and the only thing we need to remember here is we need an endpoint uh, we need to get the data in github and once we have it uh, oh, the other thing i forgot to show here is we do need if you are using um, if you are using um, streamlit cloud all the libraries you do need for your multi page application so it won't source the environment from what you have your virtual env to create it just attach a requirement or txt in your uh, uh, github uh, where you, where you have the uh, uh, streamlit underscore app dot py in the top level attach a requirements or txt with all the libraries you do need if you do pip freeze so in my case if i just do pip freeze i should get all the libraries that were installed in me installed in my workspace so once you would be using for your application just copy it into requirement or txt and that should get you started and similarly for firebase i can show you creating uh, another one so let me go to firebase.com firebase.google.com so go to console and just basically say create a project demo for you so this is just some dummy project i'm creating okay so i just had demo for you as this and
so once you get in here if you go to build just click on firebase database here and if you go here uh, there is a create db and you can read through what is a test mode and a production mode if you are in test mode your data is automatically cleared in 30 days but if you want it in a production mode then only the user will have, will have access to it then you have to pick production mode so for me it was just a test application so i picked the test mode and pick a specific uh, location which is closer to you for reduced latency and once you do that similarly your firebase uh, database would be available and before i go there let me actually clean up some firebase here so i don't think i had a couple of databases i would not be using so let me clean up some because i don't think i need it uh, I think let me clean this up and probably in the next one I will teach you through the uh, next part of it and thanks for joining.